Hello, it's Sarah Carnes checking in with you. February is Heart Health Month. And from a practical medical standpoint, we know a lot of the things that help us have a healthy heart, ideally. And doing all of those things is not a guarantee that you will never ever have some kind of physical heart issues with your heart. There are other things that influence the well-being of your heart. And I still encourage you to do what you know to do in the way of how you breathe, what you eat, your thoughts, your level of honoring what really does work for you and what does not work for you. So having said that, somebody said, well, what really is the key to well-being in the heart? And that's what I consider it. It is well-being. And a part of that is to be, to check in, to notice your heart, your heart beat, your heart rate, and be present without having to fix or prove or hide anything. That's really key. Another is to tell yourself the truth about how you feel. And this is a work in progress for me, I know, and many of you, because we were not brought up to feel how we feel. We were brought up to get over any uncomfortable feelings, to be happy but not too happy, all of those things. So that well-being that I consider the optimal heart health, along with doing what you know to do in the external world, is to check in and say hello to your heart. If you've been ignoring it, you are not alone. And it needs some attention, just like all the parts of our body do yet especially the heart. It is the CEO. And your heart health has everything to do with your mental health, your physical health, your emotional and relationship health. So my challenge to you is to pay attention and certainly schedule a clarity call with me if indeed you feel like you are ready to stop ignoring your heart and start giving it some TLC. Take good care.